I am one of the Spanish teachers here. I teach uh, Spanish two and three. And we want to talk about some uh, tips to help you and your child succeed in a world language class. So uh, one of the things that I want to touch about is first and foremost, please know that this is a high school credit class and that it is taught at a high school level. So it is a rigorous class. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure that you know is that we teach four different languages here. So there is Latin, German, uh, French, and Spanish. So your child could be taking any of those classes and you will get to meet their teachers in a second. Uh, a, a couple tips. Uh, one of the biggest tips that I can give you is that you make sure that you uh, help your child stay on top of the course by checking Schoology. Schoology is important for all the students because we put all of our notes, we put all of our information there, what their homeworks, when their tests are, and those kind of things. So checking Schoology and PowerSchool is very important. I'm actually very excited to be a part of the world language team this school year, and I'm excited to teach your child. If you have any questions, please email me or contact me on Schoology. I'm more than happy to communicate with you. Have a great evening. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Griffey, and I'm super excited to be teaching French 1 and 2 here this year. And I'm just going to really quickly talk about the proficiency levels of ACTFL that we are following here this year. Um, if your student is in French 1 or 2 or Spanish 1 and 2, um, they will be at the lower level, novice low, novice mid. And our goal this year is communication. And we are focusing on what the students can do and not what they can't do. Um, so you will hear your students learning to recite lists and memorize phrases that will enable them to communicate. So we're really looking forward to working with everyone this year. Merci, au revoir. I'm Miss Stoneman and I am teaching Spanish one this year. So I have many of your students in my class. I'm looking forward to a great year. I wanted to give you a few tips of ways to help your student at home, especially if you don't know Spanish or maybe don't remember anything you learned. First of all, be encouraging with them, patient and encouraging. Many of them will come home feeling a little overwhelmed, but hopefully they'll mostly come home feeling excited to share with you what they've learned in my class. Also, it's important to keep them organized. This again is a high school credit class, so organization will be key in keeping them successful as they learn. Um, finally, things not to do. Don't worry about spending extra money on apps or books or things for to help their learning. I encourage them to really focus on what we do in class every day, and if they master those things, they will be successful in the class. Looking forward to a great year. I'm here if you have any questions at all. Take care. Adios. Hello, I am Frau Rios. Hi, I'm Frau Rios. I'm the German teacher. Um, a few things I wanted to talk with you tonight about uh, what you can do as parents who may not speak German, um, but how you can still support your children um, in their uh, studying German, or perhaps you have a different uh, language that your your children are studying. Um, so one thing, don't worry about being able to help with them with the homework. That's something that we set them up to be able to do well in class. Um, so the homework that they're assigned, they should be able to do uh, without much help from you. We'll include links um, for how to use the tools that they're asked to use to submit assignments and we go through with them in class uh, what it is that they'll need to be able to do those assignments. Um, but you, you may still want to be involved, hopefully you will, that helps your student be a better student. You can still ask them things about what they're learning. What's the topic right now? Um, are they learning new vocabulary words? That gives them a chance to see how much they're learning as they explain to you what it is that they know. Um, Okay. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind, if your child can't explain it, then that's a good clue to you that they haven't really learned it yet. So you can encourage them to bring those questions that they still have back to class. 
Um, so you'll also be able to find on Schoolology those same tools that we're providing to your students. Uh, those are included in the folders that they have. And they can share with you then uh, what they're learning as you ask them. So some common things that you'll find in Schoolology. Um, we use Quizlet. Uh, there are some YouTube features that we bring in. And there are features in the platform of Schoolology itself that enables your students to create audio and video clips um, to submit their assignments for their spoken language production. Uh, if you still have questions, of course, feel free to reach out to us. Um, our email addresses were provided with our, our syllabi at the beginning of the year, and those should be included in our Schoology classrooms. You can also see them here on this video slide. So waiter, guten Abend, buenas noches, bonsoir, moms and dads. Um, my name is Dr. Brenneman. I am the instructor for the world language classes, excuse me, world language exploratory courses at the middle school. And in that class, we will be looking at four target languages, German or Deutsch, Latin, French or Francais, um, and Spanish or Espanol. And we will be dealing with a lot of cultural areas from those target languages and a lot of actual language activities. On occasion, I'll want some of the kids to do activities with you at home. And some of you have already done at least one of those activities. Um, but as I go through the year with the kids, I really wanna bring across language concepts to the kids. Um, as they continue with their education, whatever language they choose to study in the upper grades, all of these language concepts will be beneficial. That's what I really want to get across to them. So far, I and the little mass bandits are having a good time. I hope it continues. Don't hesitate to contact me in any way. Thanks, moms and dads.